In D.C., tanks have arrived for President Trump's July 4th military salute. The president is beefing up the traditional festivities with a display of military might. Along with the tanks, there will be flyovers featuring Air Force One as well as the Blue, Angel, Blue Angels. However, critics worry this event could cost taxpayers millions of dollars. They're also suspending flights into and out of Washington, D.C. airports for a couple hours, so that might slow things down. Back here at home, expectations very high for the fireworks all across the First Coast and here in Jacksonville. Video of crews setting up for the show out at Jack's Beach. It's a four-man crew that get the job done in 24 hours, round the clock getting ready. About a thousand, a little more than a thousand fireworks that make up the 25 minute show and don't worry about the crowds or the parking. If you don't want to drive into the melee, you don't even have to leave your house because the St. Augustine Police Department is going to be broadcasting the fireworks show over the Matanzas live on Facebook. That'll begin at 9 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, that show is going to be very, very crowded considering one of the best shows going the World Golf Village uh, fireworks not hosting fireworks this year. Hmm. Of course, you're going to have this one as well, the one right downtown, several others in our area as well. We, St. Simons Island always has the most ferocious 4th of July party. It is a great time in southeast Georgia. Just have a place to stay or a driver. Head to firstcoastnews.com, type in fireworks for a comprehensive list.